You know, one of the most annoying things when it comes to having an electric vehicle in Malaysia is the sheer number of apps you have just to use a public charger. There are now so many CPOs or charge point operators in Malaysia, each one having their own app. So every time you come up to a charging spot, you have to fumble about with your handphone looking for the right app to use. So one app may need an active subscription, the other app requires you to load some money into their e-wallet, and the other one needs you to link to a credit card. So it all can get very confusing and annoying very quickly. That's exactly why I'm so glad DC Handal, a new CPO in town, is using an open payment system. No apps involved, just use your good old credit card to pay. Let's take a closer look. DC Handal, in partnership with Auto Bavaria, BMW's premier dealership in Malaysia, is easily one of the fastest growing CPOs here in Malaysia. As the name would suggest, it only deals with DC fast chargers, the first of its kind in our market. It has avoided the easy way of just installing a whole bunch of cheaper, less useful AC chargers just to pad its numbers up. In its first few months, it already has 45 DC fast chargers across 13 locations and this is in the Klang Valley, Penang, Johor and Malacca. This is at the start of 2024 with a whole lot more to come very soon. To charge your EV at a DC Handal station is super simple. Just park your car up and come up to the main terminal over here. All you have to do is pick your specific charger and you'll be allowed to key in your phone number to get the official receipt later on. But you can even just skip this if you're in a rush. After that, all you need to do is tap your credit card and you're good to go. It is that easy. This supports Visa and Mastercard and even Apple Pay, Google Pay and Samsung Pay. After that, you can just plug up your car and it will start charging automatically. By the way, in case you're not aware, it is standard practice to charge up your car using a DC charger only up to 80-85% max. The reason is, it takes just as long to charge the car up from 30 to 80% SOC as it would going from 80 to 100. Just like charging your mobile phone, that last 15-20% will take a much longer time. So especially if you're at a busy charging station, on a highway perhaps, it is best to leave as soon as your car hits 80-85% maximum. The good thing is, DC Handal uses a per kilowatt hour pricing structure instead of being time-based so it doesn't penalize cars with slower DC charging rates. But at the same time, you shouldn't be abusing the system, you should be more considerate towards other EV users. Once you've gotten enough charge, all you have to do is tap the same card again onto the terminal and you're done. It is that simple. If you had keyed in your phone number in the beginning, you'll also be given the official receipt directly sent to your handphone. But if for whatever reason you're just so used to using your apps, you can also operate DC handle chargers using your Charge EV or Joom Charge apps. So there you go, DC Handal's open payment system. Do you think this is the right way to go? Or are you completely fine using different apps for different chargers? Do let me know in the comment section below. For now, thank you for watching everyone and stay safe.